Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. First of all, happy Halloween. Secondly, this video is different from my usual fare. It's more of a, an unusual piece of journalism that I lighted upon, and I thought, there's a story here, but I couldn't quite work out what. And I still can't quite work out what. I do think it needs to be told. I am in puzzled a little bit about what this person wants to achieve and how they want to achieve it, given what they've already done. It's a very, it's a weird story. Um, I don't think it affects anybody. It does involve, I was going to say a word, which I'm not allowed to say. It does involve a trans film star. The films being special interest, adult special interest. Um, you get what I'm saying. But this person, why don't I just do the article? It would be much easier. Right, so this is a really weird story. Um, a trans film star flushes his testicles down the toilet like a goldfish as he shares graphic details about his castration surgery. Now, I've got to say an awful lot of the words in this I'm not going to be able to say, so bear with me. But what's really weird here, I'm going to say up front, completely up front, this isn't about a man taking a woman's job. It isn't a man taking on women in a field of sport. So I've got no issue with this person taking out a role or using what he's done to sort of better himself over a woman. That's not there. So I've got no issue with that. So I'm not going to get angry about that. You know, there, there is no issue. I don't have an issue about this person pushing beliefs on people. Whether he does or not, I do not know. What this is, it's just sheer mental puzzlement. Because this person wants to do some things and I can't see who his audience is. Let's read it. Trans film star Emma Rose has revealed he flushed his testicles down the toilet like a goldfish after getting surgically castrated. The American adult entertainer, 26, who is also a rising star on social media, shared graphic details about his procedure on the Pillow Talk podcast earlier this month. I'm not saying her because he is a he. He, despite losing his testicles, still has a penis, still has a prostate and male chemistry and everything. It's a man. Emma, who transitioned from male to female at age 21. No, Emma, who started pretending to be a woman at 21, had no choice but to dispose of his unwanted testicles because he couldn't take them on his flight home. He did have a choice. There's always a choice. Didn't have to get the flight. You could have drove. Could have posted them. Could have done many things. Don't say there isn't a choice. It's like those things, you know, see it in films where failure is not an option. Let me tell you, in 55 years of life experiences, failure is always an option. Don't forget it. Sometimes failure is good. Don't really enjoy failing. Uh, and there's the Harley Quinn look, I suppose. Anyway, he said, I got castrated. I couldn't fly with them because it's a biohazard waste. Fair enough. But you didn't have to fly with them. You could have posted them. You could have, like I say, driven, got a train, whatever. Uh, so I flushed them down the toilet like a goldfish, he said. Emma explained he was awake during the procedure as a surgeon put a needle into each testicle before removing them. And as I read this the first time, and... As I'm reading it now, ladies, you have no idea. Gentlemen, you will have an idea. I am clenching. I am like, oh, you know, no. Anyway, Emma explained he was awake during the procedure as a surgeon put a needle into each testicle before removing them. I'm laying there. Imagine you're lying down and they take this big needle in each ball. They do one ball, then the other ball, and then cut the cord. Ooh, again, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's then numbed and they cut it open and you can literally feel the cords being pulled. Do you know, it's like, God, it's like pulling teeth. Uh, then I went home afterwards. Emma's penis remained intact following the operation and is still fully functional with the help of chemicals. However, it has shrunk due to the lack of testosterone caused by the, the operation. Well, let's face it, love, it all shrinks, doesn't it, in time. Um, I don't have to take testosterone blockers due to the operation. I take progesterone and oestrogen, she added. Or he added. I slipped up there. Never mind. It has shrunk. Uh, I used to be six and a half inches and I had a nice one. 
and now it's shrunk and got thinner. Um, if you ever been out cold cold water swimming, that's exactly what happens. Uh, and I didn't have to have me balls removed for that. Um, Emma is one of the most popular stars in adult special interest movies and is also making waves as a mainstream celebrity thanks to his outspoken views on Twitter. Um, and of course, the trouble is these people are all mentally ill um, and so they are going to have outspoken views because their views aren't normal. So you've got to accept that. Uh, my career goal is to be on Playboy and Penthouse so bad, he previously said. Now, here's another one of those moments where I have to explain what's going on. He wants to be on Playboy and Penthouse. He has a penis. Can you see the problem? The people who buy Penthouse and Playboy and that have no interest whatsoever in penises. And as I thought that, I suddenly thought of other things. This is a man pretending to be a woman. OK, that's fine. And I'm sure Rule 34, isn't it? If you can imagine it, there's P of it on the um, on the internet. But a real straight man, a real man, a straight man who would buy Penthouse and Playhouse, Penthouse and Playboy wouldn't be interested in her because he's not interested in seeing penises. A lesbian woman isn't interested in her because penises. A gay man isn't interested in her because he won't find the woman's body attractive and also a very small and uninspiring penis. Who are you left with? Nope, can't think of anyone. So there's going to be a tiny, tiny minority of people who are into male trans. But let's face it, as an audience you know, sector, it's very, very small. You're not going to play to, uh, you know, filled houses here. So it's, uh, yeah, I don't think you're ever going to be in Playboy and Penthouse. I mean, unless you got the other one chopped off. But to be honest, yeah, you see there, even then, doctors can cut it off, but they can't make a vagina. It's never the same. Uh, you do have to be a lady to have a vagina because only ladies have vaginas. Anyway, I just uh, I just thought this was a very, very weird article. Um, you know, and like I say, it doesn't actually affect anyone. I've got no anger issues with it. I've got no, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Other than the general, you know, it's poor fellow's got mental issues. Um, and he'll never have his balls back, even if he changes his mind. Um, but, you know, whatever, not my life. I shall come up and round off. So there you are. I said it was a different story. It's a different uh, video than usual. It's just, I don't know who he's pitching to. It's very weird. Who's his audience? But, you know, no harm done. No, you know, no foul. Um, he can do whatever he likes to himself. As long as he doesn't force it on other people, that's fine. Um, and like I say, he's not, uh, he's not taking a woman's position or role away. And he's not playing a woman on a field of sport or anything unfair. You know, but Playboy? Nah ain't gonna happen but that's just one of those really weird little stories that you get and i just thought it's halloween do something different and it certainly frightened me uh, well frightened no it certainly made me feel uncomfortable i was reading it and even thinking about it now i'm kind of oh no man you know oh still if you like what you're seeing here on the channel please hit the subscribe button ring the bell for notifications of future output leave a like leave a comment please share the video and until next time, stay safe, stay well, have a great Halloween and take care.